Millions of years ago, when dinosaurs roamed North America, another ecosystem full of monstrous animals were fighting for existence in a vast interior seaway which spanned North America from the Arctic Ocean to the Gulf of Mexico. These late Cretaceous savage ancient seas were home to some of history's most fearsome real sea monsters. For more than a quarter century, Embedded Exhibition's parent company, Treebold Paleontology Incorporated, has been hunting these incredible sea monsters preserved as fossils in the Niobrara Chalk. TPI's expertise in fossil collection, restoration, and replication are unsurpassed in the industry. Access to private ranches and partnerships with the world's finest natural history museums allows TPI to assemble and present the best, most complete specimens. We are at the forefront of new discoveries and apply the latest technologies including laser scanning and 3D printing to produce cutting-edge, high-fidelity reproductions that grace the exhibit halls of museums around the world. Savage Ancient Seas is a highly informative and entertaining exhibition which has proven successful for every venue to host it across a variety of market sizes. We have had the pleasure of receiving letters from a number of hosts describing how happy they were with the attendance, guest response to the exhibits, and the professional performance of our installation staff who set and strike the components of each exhibition. Savage Ancient Seas comes with educational and informative signs, labels, and kiosks, including a 46-inch multimedia touchscreen. These interpretive graphics and interactive stations directly address formal educational standards at the state and national levels, including those outlined in the Common Core. Immersed in the context of the exhibit, surrounded by mind-blowing fossil organisms, the science of paleontology is interpreted through models and diagrams of extinct ecosystems, geologic time, and other concepts directly reinforcing the Common Core's standards for integration of knowledge and ideas at every grade level. Such a powerful learning experience cannot be recreated in classrooms, so your regional education professionals will be hard-pressed to pass up the opportunity for such an exciting, curriculum-aligned experience for their students. We can assist your education staff with crafting your own educator resources, providing text and images you can freely use in custom teacher packets or marketing efforts. The modular nature of our exhibition allows scaling to fit venues in a variety of configurations between 2,500 and 12,000 square feet. With a selection of specimens and modules to build from, our experienced museum professionals can work with you to compose an exhibition that will work in your space to dazzle your guests. Most of the available mounted specimens are able to be set on floor stands or suspended from above to help achieve the most immersive and aesthetic installation possible in your facility. The complex story of the Western Interior Seaway unfolds through experiencing these exhibit components regardless of order, allowing your guests to self-guide their learning and providing any docents or guides in your exhibition reference materials for leading guests through the exhibits. For younger visitors, we have a prehistoric dig site in which they might excavate a sea monster discovery of their own. More tactile learning opportunities come in the form of seven hands-on touch stations, all durably crafted to withstand millions of curious caresses. We are dedicated to ensuring that each host site presents the best possible exhibit, so prior to each exhibition, every exhibit component is assessed and any that appear damaged are repaired or replaced. As engaging as our didactic displays are though, it is the sea monsters that dominate the exhibition. Savage Ancient Seas can consist of up to 35 life-size skeletons and life restoration models ranging from 1 foot to over 45 feet in length. This is the only traveling exhibition featuring fully three-dimensional skeletons of these amazing creatures from the age of dinosaurs. Hardly anyone has worked with fossils from the Western Interior Seaway as closely or for as long as company president Mike Trebold. Any collection assembled for exhibit in your facility will be the most thorough and precise representation available anywhere of North America's late Cretaceous marine legacy. 
the cast of Cretaceous characters in Savage Ancient Seas will transform your gallery into a complete natural history museum experience. Upon entering your exhibition, guests will know and appreciate that they are being treated to the best exhibition in the world addressing the natural history of life in Earth's oceans. This is the famous Cope Elasmosaur, which started the fossil wars of the 1870s when E.D. Cope published the skeleton with the head on the wrong end and O.C. Marsh publicly embarrassed him for it. Fast and agile, this short-necked plesiosaur was wider than long. The Dalekorinkop's conical interlocking teeth were perfect for capturing fish. Probably a shallow diver, Clydastes was the smallest of the three primary mosasaur genera of the Nyabrera chalk. Platycarpus is the most abundant reptilian predator found in the Cretaceous sediments of the Western Interior Seaway. This replica is cast from a specimen which was found near Dallas, Texas, and is the largest protostega in the world. With flippers spanning 15 and a half feet, our adult protostega makes an impressive exhibit. This replica is cast from the largest known specimen of Archelon and has a 17-foot flipper span, making it the largest known sea turtle to have ever existed. Before the advent of mosasaurs, Megacephalosaurus would have been the marine reptile with the most gape to its maw in the western interior seaway, allowing it to tackle the largest prey it cared to. A new, undescribed species, this Plioplatycarpus skull, was recently restored by Treebold Paleontology Incorporated. Toxichelys lateremus is the most common species of fossil turtle known from the Nyabrera chalk. Turtles are rare finds in the chalk, though, and complete juveniles are extraordinary finds. TPI is proud to offer two exquisite specimens of this enormous species, Tylosaurus prorigger. Our largest mosasaur, the bunker specimen, is the largest complete Tylosaurus skeleton known. Our slightly smaller but even more impressive Sophie specimen features one of the best preserved Tylosaurus skeletons known and bears a number of traces left by sharks and other mosasaurs. Tylosaurus kansasensis retains primitive mosasaur features and shows an early stage in the diversification and radiation of Tylosaurs. Prion Achilles was a spiky sea turtle that lived during the late Cretaceous in Alabama around 80 million years ago. Pachyrhizotus was a powerfully built mid-level predator capable of rapid acceleration. It is comparable to modern tarpons in size and physique. Nearly identical to Zephactinus in body shape, but less than half the length, the closely related Ichthyodectes found itself as an occasional meal for the bigger contemporary predator. Zephactinus is the largest known bony fish and was a voracious predator of the western interior seaway. A number of specimens have been recovered with the intact remains of smaller fish preserved as stomach contents. The most unusual and rarest member of the Ichthyodectid fishes Sauridon possesses an extremely elongated and narrow body with nearly 120 vertebrae. Encodus was a large predatory fish that appeared in the late Cretaceous and transcended the end Cretaceous extinction to survive into the Eocene. The largest of the fangs giving this fish its ferocious appearance are over two inches long. Ichthyornis was the first known toothed bird. Initially thought to be two specimens preserved together by its descriptor, O.C. Marsh, the jaws were described as a new species of marine reptile. Only further preparation revealed that the toothed jaws did in fact belong to the avian skeleton. Hesperornis was the second known toothed bird. It was flightless and probably lived much like a penguin, diving after small fish. Paleos finiscus is a more recent animal than most of the Savage Ancient Seas lineup. It is a Patagonian penguin that lived around 5 million years ago. It makes an interesting comparative specimen for the very distantly related but comparably adapted Hesperornis. The Pteranodon in Savage Ancient Seas are based on the most complete Pteranodon specimen ever found. 
elements have been scaled and adapted to provide the world's most accurate casts of both the male and female morphotypes of this species. The Cretoxy rhina in Savage Ancient Seas is cast from the largest complete fossil shark specimen on record. Very similar to today's great white shark, only the largest of mosasaurs would have been a match for this vicious megapredator of the western interior seaway. Sometimes referred to as the crow shark, Squalocorax is thought to have been an active and abundant scavenger in the late Cretaceous seas. Megalodon preyed the waters off the east coast of the U.S. just a few million years ago and was the largest shark ever. No trip to your exhibition will be complete without a family portrait from inside history's most fearsome set of jaws. If you are interested in hosting Savage Ancient Seas, contact Mike Trebold or visit savageancientseas.com for more information.